That means they're not planning primal trade on the same time set, which it would be the same sacred announcement. Well, it also makes sense because Primeval Titan is not particularly good, right? So even more like sense not to ban it. I'll keep this hand, not sure. Get a lot of the advertising for Ben soon. Yeah, get your copies while well you can. Should I discard an Uro? I think so. Turn 3 I'll probably rather t out. Not sure. Put this guy at Valky too, but we can play it on turn 2 if you force on this turn. Famously bond in ETH Prime while Titan not good. Yeah, that's what I said. Was Uro framed? No, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I should have kept Valky in my hand. Okay, we have Uro anyways. But it's not like I can borrow it, so I guess I'll force it because I spell. have a school crack. I think I'd rather Uro than e -Bot. No, I think I'd rather e -Bot. Because then I have two forces if they don't have a spell here. This way they have six. Also does enable sitting place if they are holding sitting place. They have a school crack I die anyways, I guess now I die to any free damage spell. Okay, they had a school crack, congrats. Let's see if my powerful cyborg plants. It's gonna be beneficial. Have I seen the 30 second clip with the lawyer zoom call? I have not. I'm playing in League Skyba. So I don't know if you want, if you would call the leaks casual or an event, more so casual I guess. Did some wrong part, I don't know if it warrants a ban. Uh, did they, everybody forget about this? Uh, how you have to see Uro's face five times per match? I guess it was mostly on Arena when the animation was was appearing from the top of the screen and he was sucking every single time. Uro. Uro. Why did we do that in response? I wanted to cascade during my turn, so when my opponent casts a red spells, I gain a life, so I could do that after the helix resolves, but it's minor difference between those two. The board and paths, maybe I should have a Valkyrie or two in the deck. Find, maybe, thoughts? Let's see. 
This kind of stupid because then we're gonna be rolling dice, but I feel like dice rolling. I sent. If by nice you mean terrible. Not a very common use of that, but. I actually think the split is okay because drawing Valky can be okay. I think drawing Core Firewalker is better than drawing Valky. Valky is actually terrible like to draw against Baron. What is it gonna do? But if they board in paths or like any other way, like answers to Core, or if they like limit the amount of cards that punish Core. Perry vs. David Paul, my favorite interaction. Just making sure that no like, you know. Rolling Vortex, uh, that's a new one. All the burn decks play it now because it take, makes people take 5 from Cascade. And also blocks life gain. That's like pretty pretty good card overall. Let's see the drifting boat leaving the exile zone. Well, it did not. Block life gain, curse burn spell. I opt to gain life still. So I can sell monkey so I can keep there. We hit T belts. We gain one life of T belts. Og. Lee. Okay. Now we have exalted on our core. We have Uro. We have water for the enchantment. So I think we're fine. But yeah, I don't like Timely versus Rolling Vortex much. I say Cyborg Thread again. They suspend a Rift Bolt from your hand, so you have to have the Suspended card in your hand. If you don't have it in your hand, then you are not allowed to be suspending. Hmm. I'll keep the Senna and just draw lands because I don't like Mulliganic. It's absolutely it's not a Mulligan, no keep at least it's a mirror match. Yeah, apparently it's on a flooded strand. Okay, game some mines. They could release that fake wasteland I'll give it treasure when it blows you up. Why? What for? Land off the top of my deck into my hands, thanks. Kinda cringe, but it's a land. This is tech good, it's for you to decide after watching enough content from Karasradesh Kar MPG. Not Uro. I could Uro, I don't think I would like to tap down. I guess their field, if they decide to activate their field, they can actually outburst. I'll play the borrower now. Okay, monkey is good. Very good, actually. Field is more toxic than Uro, but what you see, that, that, that. You're toxic. Anyway, need to force it, I guess. It's 
it's my opponent's Sura, so you don't want to play it. Force spike and damage too. Force spike is already in the format, it's actually also much better. You force the mana, you can later seal the fire with Valky, wasn't that better? It wasn't because the Valky debuff cannot accept playing sockets with his minus 3 ability. So in fact it was worse. Not only wasn't it better, it was worse. If you force the leak, your dispute can't kind of ferry though. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, that would be better than when we are out from the graveyard. I wasn't thinking that far ahead, but definitely should have. That's an odd move into the face up mana leak, but it's not that face up for my opponent. It's pretty hard to keep track. Okay, remains. Pass the battery now. Yes, I'll get a triumph to have good mana. Spewed on top. They force me, I'll just play another one. I have two cascades. They let just draw. Okay, they force. Pretty nice. Is it the ferry? Oh, they remained their own force. That's very strong for them. How many counters is my opponent playing? I guess they're playing more counters now than typical you would. Do you think they play free sanctuary store and they bond deck? It seems like they're playing bond without uh, red and sex. Oh, 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 ura, ura, Titan of Nature's Wrath. Titan of Nature's Wrath. Drawing another Valky is kind of edge. Primal Titan. They can't force it, we know they have a force, so it makes sense to play a creature. Get another mana leak. Wait, is it the same mana leak all around? I think it is, actually. Okay, sure, too bad. Persons on Tuesday, Keiko. They play green, they're the so I doubt they are on Tuesday, Johnstar. The fairy hero of Dominaria type deal. Yep. Why is green is not allowed anymore? Well, if they were on Tuesday, then you would think that they would not play green because it's not Uro. The green is not a powerful control color anymore. That's the interesting game. I put out so many counters, maybe they have outplayed me. No, can't be. But I can't play their Uro. This again, I think it's their Uro. I don't remember for sure. Now it's not possible to check, but I think it is their Uro. Because my Uro will be really good though. Green is not powerful control, not on 2020, 21. I think not sure was green good. Can't start you're just doing too bearish at this point. I want to play Valky maybe. Either hand. Valky reaction video. I'm kinda curious. They will play one. I mean, checking their hand is by a lot. It's like a lazy thing to do if it's, if it's not good, but attacking the plane soccer seems valuable. Don't think control decks will be green moving forward, that's what I said. Given that you know there is not many attractive green options. Makes sense not to play green. Do they have this in their hand or was it their dust up? Do it. Wait, Bond Primeval Titan? Why is my point not playing the Invasion of the Giants? Yeah, they felt no, I do have a Valky to Cascade in my deck because I put one back into my deck with Tefari. Hmm. 
if you do. Valky is a good dog's name if you think about it. Doesn't work really all that well in Polish. Go, go, grow spiral, grow spiral, feel that dead, dead. I will concede because I can beat my opponent. I think boarding out monkeys against regular control is not a good plan though. I should be boarding out borrowers here because they suck ass well. Monkeys are good for the... Like you mostly win with the early turn movements, I feel like. There are so many just bad cards in this deck, which ones? Maybe force of negation is a bad card, huh? For our the split card, Omnath is not good in this show. I think Omnath is quite good. Yeah, I can carry caverns on the play guys because it's a land, but it's a useless land. It cascades a lot, but also like I think this these matchups are the best when the monkey out a in effect early. I know this hand is good though. Very powerful when you cascade, but so many times. The other cards just doesn't support the game plan. Well, you do cascade all the time, though. Okay, we'll keep this. So I think and 65 will be deck. What does he scam? But I had to use my force. Friend 6 is a trap. Rule. Friend 6 kinda sucks when you can't play 2 lands per. You can play average 1.5 lands per turn from your hand. There's diminishing returns on the amount of fetches in your hands, and you know, the like third one kinda doesn't do anything. That's Ren 6. You're playing soccer. Ren N6, that's the name. Resolved. Interesting. Ren N6 is a new internet browser, now that's just playing on true. I don't know if I want to play Valky. Probably do. Well, Ren 6 is less play now without Uro. Almost assuredly, yeah. I have Edergas. Interesting hands. They don't care though, they just like. I mean, they want to hardcast, so I see what they're doing. Nice draw. I probably should have failure the FS Edergast. Rather than forces. My opponent is now thinking if they want to pitch a force and be left with nothing. But they know they have failure. Hard cast Valky. It is not very hard to cast now. Oh no, I guess I did hard cast Valky, but I also cast City Bolt. Put other gas on top of the library. Canister plus is Valky. Did you hear Congress proposed a law banning tank tops? It didn't pass because it violated the right to bear arms. That's good then for, for that reason. Yeah, 
Yeah, why is force of negotiation three mana again to cast? Plus it doesn't hit creatures. No, no, why is it three mana to cast? Doesn't answer my question. Not sure if I should cryptic here, yes, I will. Probably actually bad. So I don't think burning grapes is right, but I can see the race scene behind it. Yeah. Well put. Have one on the house. Hogak wouldn't even be the best thing to do. I think this deck wouldn't be too good against Hogak. Although, of course, with what Faithless looting it is harder to build a sensible Hogak deck. But I could not play red then. What did you play at the Hogak PT? I played Hogak. But I had no main deck lines. Some players had main deck lines. I played John Hogak. Some players played Hogak with crabs and they like were swearing by the crabs being an improvement over non crabs. But I think they weren't right, and I think the crabs were pretty crappy actually. Demolishing the mana base of a deck that operated over two, over two or three lands pretty badly. Looting wasn't even that good in Hagak, you kept looting regularly. Did you? I don't think I ever did that. Especially Passport, I mean, obviously Passport, but didn't cut card main like before pre board, right? We have a needle, but it's just like times one needle. 61 XD. Wait, cut something. I got banned from Hawaii for having a loud laugh. All they accept is a low. Uh, ha. Oh, aloha. Funny. Was there ever a conclusive answer about whether T was letting you pay the colorless and things like Fortnite was your back or lose internal behavior? I think it's back. You may spend mana so it would mana of any colors and not of any type, so Color colorless is not a color by definition. Can I say your band prediction is dot 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 question mark. I predict some nice content. Because I won't need to play magic on Monday, I will just be able to sit there and we're gonna discuss. And we're gonna be like waiting in excruciating pain to see what card got removed from the format. Maybe I will even make a YouTube video from that. Ah, I forgot to fetch. Don't really need a rock ring though. I mean, I kinda do because now I can't cast a violent outburst. What if I just lead on a fairy though? Did they say that there will be a BNR announcement this Monday? Yeah, on Twitter. I mean, you can understand it differently, but I think it was supposed to mean that it's on Monday. In case you didn't see, the Smith and Supper drop announcement has information about the upcoming band and restriction update. We'll have more to share on Monday, 15th of February. But they might share information like, you know, we're gonna post the announcement on 17th of February. Checkmate nerds, but I assume it's an uh, announcement. I kick of skate. I summon the Cosmic Pin Prostor. No. What the hell? Like, do you not play counter spells? Oh, they play Perch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck me. I cry when T Bird gets perched by my opponent. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I drew the shit card. I bought it out of fear of a single needle in my opponent's haystack. That's really not cash money. Especially if they continue on to making land drops, but they don't, so that's good. I play the fairy now. Opponent is loading a counter spell into their <sighs> magic decatering rifle. Oh wait though, I think attempt to recast the fire in the next turn. Of course they can like draw land drops or some bullshit like that. I should have gotten a breathing pool, that was a mistake too. Oh, Dexio likes and getting and Bana Kaniki, such. Yeah, that's so true. I think I'd rather get it a fairy. We're gonna bounce the cascade there. Are you happy about the upcoming Uropans? Yes, because content. Alright, good thing they didn't have a land, because if they would, then that would be very not cash money of them. Well, they do have a land, but a wrong one. I mean, a wrong one, but still one that can absolutely defeat me, so I was spooked. I cast my last t bot the Cosmic t bot and I perform the flipando of a land, and we keep up a failure to comply, so should be fine. One zombie per turn is pretty low rate. Are you scared about the upcoming other bounce? No, I've got no fear. This is not used a sanctuary, funny. Cock soup and scram or let it some. Still had a patch on top. Guess we can name Prime Titan. No, that was a waste. I could have just played a Valky. Bears. Yeah, that's maybe poor. I guess I can protect T Bulge. Let's see what they cast first. Yeah, I think I'll see ways to cast that. Ether Ghast. I mean, it's not weird that for a person that has their basic human needs uh, fulfilled, that can eat, sleep, etc., it is relevant whether they're gonna be able to play with their card or not, which they paid money for. So, you know, obviously it's a zero fold problem, but also, why is, in what way would that be surprising? I don't think it is in any. Stack <laughs> where is Oh, I got a cryptic command. That's nice. All I know is modern has seemed like a more diverse format with Ura in it. Well, Ura is still in the format, so it's kind of quick to make a judgment like that as to how diverse it's gonna be without <laughs> Ura in the picture, right? We have ulted and play a titan for a field. I'm a bit worried about Swiss Spear decks with Uro gone. Swiss Spear decks, they fired Uro, EBH in my view. Or at least the matchup was at least close and it's like... It is probably easier to build a deck that is better against prowess decks with... It contains more cheap cards than to win those really like Italian Uro. I think. That's pretty cloudy, I don't know if that's, if that's absolutely true. I feel like Titan is gonna take over again. There is supposedly gonna be more bonds. Also, I don't think Titan is actually very good. Rainbow Titan decks, the amulet decks, were actively good when 
once upon a time was a la legal in the format because that was a card that actually made the amulet decks have a proper amount of green sources on turn one which was pretty cool for the deck this is the list we played today slightly changed from from the last one i think uh, this is a better way to build the deck the omnaths the uros they can look cumbersome on paper but they do play much better than you'd think i think when you get hit by hate like defending silences piffing needle this type of stuff having uh, omnath and ura in your deck is invaluable and on top of that when fighting off against uh, the mirror matches I have found it to be a relatively successful strategy to reduce the amount of Sivian Spirit Guides, use Omnath as a way to deal with your opponent Planeswalkers too. You kinda try to rely on the third trigger chapter, it's a threat that you can't force, you can't dispute, but it's pretty hard to counter in general because it can be forced in the mirror, so if you set it up you frequently are able to use the triple landfall ability deal for damage to your opponent's playing so as frequently you can get both with the fairy and a tip out with this which is pretty relevant thank you for watching and like and subscribe